If you could see my desk right now, well, you wouldn't be able to find a thing. <laughs> I am in the process of transferring all the podcast stuff out to the new building, but I got to get that area done before I do that. And I'm testing out the new microphone. The new soundboard should sound a whole lot better. I, I'm still, uh, I mean, you got all this, guys, to learn what it does. But it, I did the one test clip before this, so it, it is definitely 10 times better, 100 times better than the last microphone. And it's got all kinds of cool things and features uh, on this soundboard that I'm going to use later. Uh, I'm not even going to touch anything right now. It echoes. It does everything. It, uh, it's probably got a fog machine in there. I don't know. But if I'm going to do podcasts, I want to do them right. I want you to be able to hear me. I don't want to have to set controls every single morning or afternoon whenever I choose to do my podcast so i gotta get the right stuff and you know you guys don't see half the things that go into it you don't see all the lighting that's up here and back there that goes into having you know you can just get on like i see some live streams and just do with what natural light you have but it doesn't look good you're never gonna you're never gonna grow looking like that uh live streams are you know that's a that's one other thing but to do a podcast you gotta look you gotta look decent it doesn't help me but you want the sound you want the picture you want everything to be good and that's what i'm doing now, i'm going to be building a pretty cool studio out there uh, i've been out there the last few days i built my table already for my laser uh engravers uh, that came out really nice. Uh, I leveled my workbench that if you had seen my video, and that's one thing about filming when you're building it, you, you skip steps or forget to do things because, you know, I, I film and then I edit and then I put it out that day. I don't save up a week's worth and cut out the, the mistakes. I, I just, whatever happened, I put it on there. So. I got that all leveled up. You could see in the in the video the bench looked like this. It was humped in the middle. And I was when I was editing, I'm like, oh God. I wonder if anybody's gonna notice that. Nobody did. And it, well they might have, but they didn't say nothing. So I went out there yesterday, yep, the one end had to come up about that far. But now it's good. And I went and bought some more plywood today. We we have been dealing with some bad storms the last, I know it was last night we had one. And then I don't remember if it was the night before or the night before that, that the night before yesterday or last night is what got me. It bent my flagpole to the point. There's no fixing it because I've already bent it back 15 times. In, and I knew when I hung the pole here, it was a bad idea. Because the weather here just is awful. I have never liked the weather in Arkansas. It's, it's, you know, and I think the weather's getting worse everywhere. And it ain't no climate change. It's just the cycle. The earth is spinning is what that is. It's, we're not doing nothing. But our storms have been really bad. And I'm out there the other night and I watched the, the wind started, I just, you know, this is the way it approached, you know, at the front of the storm, you get the wind and it lasted probably 15 minutes and it had to have been 60 to 80 miles an hour. And I'm running around all making sure Waldo, cause he freaks out. I'm making sure everything's okay. Then I hear this loud crash and it sounded like metal roofing. So, I mean, it is just coming. You were, I went out there to look and I was just got pelted by pine cones the pine cones are coming in and i was just pelted by pine cones so hard i couldn't stand out there 
So I had to wait. So when it, we, when it let up a little bit, I went out there to see what was going on and I've got cameras. I can see a lot of things that are going on outside. And that's one good thing to have them. I didn't see any metal. I didn't see what the noise was. Well, it blew the lid off of my well house and that had three or four cinder blocks on top of it. That's how strong the wind is. That well house is in a bad spot. And when we get storms from the northwest and it comes through that little alley in there, that's how I lost all them trees that time. I lost 11 trees in one night by one of them storms. And I've been thinning these trees out. And thank God I took the ones by the cabin out. But we get bad storms. And then today, now last night we had a couple hours worth of storms and other than heavy rain, we didn't really have the winds and it didn't do much. It didn't do anything. But then I went to town and they had big giant hundred year old trees down everywhere. So they got hit. So thankfully we're good here. Um, the shape of my house, I mean, it's, it's an A-frame. So usually when we get them winds from there, it's, it, it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's just leaned up against the house. They're 26 foot sheets. It can't go anywhere. But the little dorms on each side have an overhang uh, of the metal, and it'll grab those, and it's ripped it off. I've had to get up on the roof, put it back on. Uh, the roofer, the guy that helped me do this last time, did a terrible job. He didn't hardly put any screws in it. So I had to get up there and get everything secured down but didn't didn't get any damage uh it blew the dog's bowls so far away i couldn't it took me a half hour to find their bowls because they'd ate their dinner and it blew through the carport and just took them way off into the back but everything else is okay we're supposed to get one more storm tonight there they're just pop-up storms and normally we don't get them this time of year so hopefully those were the worst of the storms that are coming but it's not it's rare this time of year to get usually it's dry the whole month of august not anymore you can't predict what it's going to do but anyway i've been out there getting I, i was out there today got everything cleared out hung blinds uh tomorrow morning I'm going to continue working on my workbenches, get my laser machines out there, and start on the podcast. So we're going to do some podcasts here until I get, I want it to be nice. Got a few more things coming. Uh, I've got a lot of things upstairs still in boxes that I haven't even unpacked to make a nice backdrop. Because I don't like, this is too small in here. And it's not going to be much bigger out there, but the difference is, I'm not going to have all my other stuff that I have already in here. I've got two monitors, this thing, my desk is full. It'll just be a separate area only for the podcast or live streams. If I ever choose to do them, I, I despise doing live streams, but during dog dog Tober, when I'm putting a video on both channels, I'll probably have to do some live streams because trying to come up with stuff every day, is you got to brainstorm that's why i want to do every day working on a project trying to finish a project but that is regulated by budget you know i can only do so many of those projects that i have the funds for so we may have to do some live streams i may have to put podcasts on that channel i don't know so i just want to get on here today do a little test test this stuff out uh, I love, I can already tell you, I love this. And I, now I got to wear the headphones with this thing. Cause I don't know what's going on. Otherwise, uh, before it didn't matter. Now I know why they wear them. I always wonder why, why they wear, see, and, I, and then I was doing podcasts and I'm like, okay, so if I play a video for you guys, I can't hear it unless I'm wearing headphones. I can't hear nothing. What's going on on this software. So you got to wear them for that. But then, then I'm like, well, I don't need to wear them when I'm doing my regular podcast. Well, I do now. 
which is fine. I like, you know, I, I can tell what the sound's like and adjust it without you guys even seeing. You'd never know. So that's all I got for today. A uh, couple of weeks probably before we're out there. And then when we get out there, I've got a new whole thing I'm going to do. It's still going to be a podcast. But what I'm going to be doing, I'm not going to be able to do this daily. It's just too too much involved. It's going to take a couple of days of work. So I may be able to get out three, maybe four a week. I'm thinking three. But it's going to be pretty cool. I assure you. It's going to be. All right. We're going to keep this short. And we will probably see you tomorrow. I'll probably do one in the morning. I've already got things set up in here. I don't even have any of my laptop. It's just buried. It's buried in stuff right now. I got to get that out. I got to get download all the software for podcasting. Get that set up. I don't even know if this thing's going to be powerful enough to run everything. So I got to do the test on that. I can always take my desktop out there and leave my laptop in here. But eventually I'm going to have to replace that because that's not, that's not even a good enough computer for editing videos. It's just too slow. I've got the memory upgraded as much as I can. It doesn't go anymore. It was just a cheap Walmart one. So I'm going to have to spend the money at some point and invest in the, the equipment that, that will help me do what I do. All right. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.